Oh yeah. This is it. This is why we're here, baby! People think it's just jumping over waves, but it's much more. It's a physical and spiritual journey. It's about pushing the limits of what's humanly possible. When you're out there, leaping over those waves, there's no safety net, no board beneath your feet. It's just you, defying the very essence of gravity and nature. Oh yeah, snagging the title of wave jumping champion last year, that was a hoot, especially with the penguins cheering us on in Antarctica. This year, I'm betting my left flip flop on a repeat victory. Now that we're back in Hawaii, it's crucial to really immerse yourself in the local scene. I mean, how can you jump waves properly if you don't understand the spirit of aloha, right? Plus, I hear the waves here are less icy, so that's a bonus. Preparation? Well, it's about embracing the essence of the ocean. You know, wave jumping? It's not just a sport, it's an art. It's like bungee jumping without a cord. There's this pure, unadulterated thrill to dance with the unpredictable nature of the sea. Training? Oh, I, I do a bit here and there, but right now I'm more focused on what this beautiful island has to offer. So just uh, one of the boats that I own, um, something we'll take out today uh, while well, Jordan is uh, practicing, and uh, we'll hit the beach, maybe catch some shark, shark diving. My bro Jordan? Ah, uh, he's taking this training way too seriously. Go, 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 go! Nice! Yeah, stop, stop, stop! Whoa, whoa! Not too much. Point your fingers, point your fingers. Here we go, big one, big one! The training? No, it's rigorous. They ride the wave. Well, I'm here to bench press it. I'm up at dawn every day, synchronizing my movements to the ocean's pulse. I study wave patterns, wind direction. I even meditate underwater to better connect with the sea. It's a lifestyle. You have to be one at the wave. Anticipate its every move. But hey, to each their own, right? I'm confident with my skills. My goal right now is to live in the moment and enjoy the island life while creating another chapter in my autobiography. Have you tried the local breweries here? Fantastic stuff. I'm on a bit of a personal brewery tour. Research for the book, of course. No, hey, 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 Josh, he's got to get his head in the game. I'm glad he's off on his journey enjoying the Hawaiian culture. Hopefully he'll be too hung over to perform his moves. Guaranteeing me a championship this year. Remember, wave jumping isn't just a sport, it's a way of life. 
It's about embracing the unexpected, like finding out your flip-flops float, or that sea turtles make great race spectators. And hey, if you're looking for a good story or a great brewery, you know where to find me. Uh, this is Duke, the uh, the wave jumper extraordinaire. Uh, Duke won the wave jumping championships 1927. 1927. Uh, and uh, he's been a uh, been a role model for us ever since. So we're here to honor him, and uh, hopefully we can pull off uh, pull off some wave jumping skills uh, that will impress. Make Duke. him proud. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Josh, look that way. Wow, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a game changer out there. All right, like I said, uh, we're being asked to use the GoPro uh, for our jumps here in the competition. Uh, crowd is... Uh, crowd is really cheering us on right now. I can barely hear myself over the crowd and the waves, but uh, let's do this. So, okay, here we go. I call this the pink salmon. Yes! Jordan's going to show us the Velveeta. Duke is the only one that's ever performed the Velveeta to perfection. I got it. So, it's not an easy maneuver, the Velveeta. He's ready. Here we go. That's a two wave, that was two waves. How did that one feel? Oh, first time I've ever done that in competition. That's wild. Unreal. Wild. I call this Aquaman's feet. Aquaman's feet. Oh shit! Oh. Yeah, yeah, next one. Wow, oh, he's stuck it. He's stuck it. How's it feel? How's it feel? Amazing. Oh, did you get that? This is called the Rick Moranis. Galapagos turtle, baby. Starfish. Yeah. Lavender dish. You know how they said no one can do the canned tuna? No, don't do it, George, don't do it, don't do it! That's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. The Wave Jumper Championships is brought to you by Wave Runner, Hawaii's favorite wave jumping ball. Is that, how was that? Good? Again? Absolutely. I developed this new move, Top Seeker. But let's just say it involves a triple spin and, well, you'll have to wait and see. It's going to revolutionize wave jumping as we know it. Here we go. This is the move. This is the triple. The triple dip. Triple dip sap cow. Here we go, baby. What move was that? Triple South Cow Asaki. Performance? Well, I always say a happy jumper is a good jumper. I'm here to have a good time, enjoy the waves, and then do what I do best, win. Uh, hoping it will be the 
one that really wins me the championship here. Like I said, uh, we're being asked to use the GoPro for the competition. Not my favorite, but gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, the next move is called Virgin Mary. Uh, it says a lot of the wave jumpers are virgins still. Yeah, so let's, let's do it. So again, this is the, uh, the Virgin Mary in honor of all the other uh, wave jumpers out there. Leg spot! Yes! 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 Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes, thank you! Thank you! Thank you! I'm gonna swim to that island out there. What's out there? Little Oahu Mahu. He's gone. Sea's taking him away.